All right, what's going on, guys? This is Nizu. Just thought I would do uh, a blind play, a blind let's play of this brand new demo that just came out for WRC3 World Rally Championship. Uh, just downloaded this off the PlayStation Network and. Welcome to WRC3. Live and breathe the entire World Rally Championship phenomenon with the WRC experience. Take on the role of a promising young rally driver in Road to Glory, or challenge drivers from all over the world racing against them online. Alright, so from what I understand, Road to Glory is basically the career mode, and uh, single stage is more of the... Uh, I guess the the full rally experience. So I don't know. Let's um, let's do Road to Glory first. Road to Glory is the ultimate rally experience. A tour across the greatest geographical areas of the planet to take on rally's rising stars. If you can make it through all the tests and beat the aspiring champions, you will have earned the right to face the WRC aces in the most exclusive event there is: the Ultimate Battle. The first step is enrolling. All right, let me uh, let me correct myself. I made a mistake with that last uh, statement. Road to Glory is the career mode, uh, which is the full WRC experience. Um, and then you have the online mode and the uh, what was it? Single stage where you can uh, just basically pick what stage you want to play and uh, just play that one stage. So. Uh, let's do Road to Glory here. So anyways, I'm not going to get too much involved in this. Just going to keep it default. From here, you can access the garage. But more importantly, you'll be able to choose in which of the seven areas to race. Start with the Iberian area. Uh, I mean... First impressions off the bat, what I can, I mean, just looking at the interface, this is, uh, <laughs> it's pretty different for, uh, for a racing game. Uh, this has a very cartoonish look, almost, um, almost, almost cell shaded Very comic-like. Not sure why they chose to go this route, but, well, let's just start here. A uh, special stage in Spain. And let's see what we have here for car choices. Looks like just this one here, the Ford Fiesta RS, which has 100 in everything. So this is just about the easiest that, uh, that, you, can, that you can get. It has 100 handling, 100 speed, and 100 acceleration. So, well, what's the showroom? Uh, just hit the showroom button and you can kind of go in and look a little bit more closely at the car here uh, zoom in and out and uh, well you get the point you can just kind of look at the car a little bit better let's just jump right into this let's just race uh, I am using a controller I, I do not have a steering wheel for my PlayStation 3 and Honestly, I don't even know if uh, uh, you can use a steering wheel with the demo. My uh, my guess is that you cannot. So this will be kind of different from me because I am used to uh, more simulated controls. It's been a while since I played uh, an arcade. The magnificent valleys of Catalonia are the principal setting for the traditional Spanish events. The courses are mostly on tarmac, but the numerous excursions onto unpaved ground require a great capacity for adaptation from drivers. Uh, I mean, at a glance, this looks like an arcade racer, but I could be wrong. Could, I don't know, could have the... Uh, Physics of a uh, of a of a simulator. I don't know. Depending on how difficult you you make it, I'm just gonna go into the car settings here and show you guys front suspension, rear suspension, gear, and body. And uh, I cannot change any of these. Oh yes, can I? Uh, no. It looks like it's just telling me a little bit about it. it doesn't look like I can change anything. But it does look like the option might be there if you uh, want to change some of the settings. 
objectives we have maneuvers and position here so let's just start it up Ford Fiesta RS whoa um, all right something's wrong with the camera here the camera is um, swinging left and right um, I don't know what's going on here I'm gonna try third person view first and then uh, then I'll try cockpit cam what is up with the steering here? It's kind of this is difficult for me right now. It's almost like the um, I don't know if it's just a natural part of the gameplay or maybe a, I need to change a setting here. But the uh, the camera is turning before I am, which is throwing my perception completely off. Oh, great. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> All right, that was a terrible first run, but uh, I don't know what's up with the... I want to try that again. And we'll go into the settings and see what's going on here. All right, let's check out the options here. Options, we got some HUD options here. Uh, you can turn stuff on and off here. Gauges, speed unit, let's make this miles per hour. Um, rewind effect, very similar to the, uh, well, I don't know what's apparently become the standard in racing games, which is adding the rewind effect, which um, can be helpful for um, for a lot of people and we have ability points not sure what that's all about just yet we got some gamma correction uh, and audio options let's just turn that music I won't turn it completely off so you guys can at least hear the kind of music that's being played but I, I will turn it down because it's uh, slightly annoying we have um, co-driver let's just turn that down a little bit co-driver timing we'll keep that normal game options here we go uh, auto break break help um, I don't really need that on transmission Manual and semi. Um, I'll keep it semi automatic. Maybe just for another round. Look to Apex. What is this? Use this option if you want the cockpit view camera to follow the bend trajectory, simulating the driver's. He oh, that is. That's what it was. That's what's throwing me off, I think. We're going to turn that off. And I'm going to see if the driving is any better. Right six is the left four over bridge. Right um, Keep middle. Right five. Then left All right, I think that might be it. Left three is the right two. Don't cut. Head in left. And um. Uh, this feels arcadish. Lots of handling going on here. Um, the 
definitely that apex turning that apex thing off helps a little bit it's still kind of shifting from left to right i don't know maybe it's just that the handling is just super tight on this car I haven't exactly figured it out yet i'm gonna finish up and uh well we did a little bit better that time but well you guys get the point let's try something else here let's continue So, final position was ninth, and I got 1,985 ability points, which uh, I'm assuming unlock stuff or help me level up. Oh, here we go. Your reputation will increase on the basis of the ability points and placing you achieve. Uh, I see. Okay. All right. Let's so. Oh. Well, that sucks. Looks like you need five points in order to proceed to this crash and run. So, it looks like we're going to have to... I only have two, so we're going to have to race this over again. That, uh, that sucks. Well, let's do it. It's kind of a slap in the face, but especially when it's uh, the game is just starting and I can't even uh, get enough points to make it to the second, the se <laughs> the second stage. So, well, whatever, we're going to jump back into it and uh, see if we can do a little bit better here. The music isn't too bad. I, I don't typically listen to in-game music uh, while I'm driving or anything. Kind of just like the natural sounds of the game. And especially when you have to listen to the co-driver. Okay, I'll shut up now. Oh, come on. I don't know what it is about the driving here. It feels like I'm driving a a boat. It feels like I'm driving a boat in like Grand Theft Auto or something. Some got a lot of uh, a lot of tail wag. Uh, let's try let's try this. Oh, sh oh, I'm not gonna do too well here. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is even worse than the uh, than the first run. Alright, well, let's do this again here. Hopefully I'll do uh, better this time. Now that the uh, the driving is a little bit better. And uh, we're going to try the... Uh, we're going to try the... Come on. Alright, we are going to uh, restart. <laughs> Actually, maybe I should have let that play uh, play out so you guys can see what the, uh, the crashing was like. You know what? Let's get that out of the way here. All right, I'm going to crash on purpose here. So, well, let's just go crazy here for a moment. And, uh, okay, my windshield is completely demolished. It's, uh, it's going, it's pretty much going to shatter into a million thousand pieces in a second. Let's, uh, let's see what else, what other kind of damage we can do here. Let's just, uh, I don't know, let's, can we bust it completely? Well, let's try here. It doesn't feel like, well, yeah, it does feel like the car is slowing down a bit. Oh, yeah, I definitely, the car is definitely in, uh, rough shape right now. Oh, it's, the brakes are shot. Uh, okay, let's see what else we can do here. I want to. I want to really mess this thing up. Oh my god. Well, let's... Alright, I can barely back up here. Uh, let's... Uh, oh, the radiator is gone. Oh my god. Oh, I can't even back up. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, I am putting along strong here still. Uh, let's turn it. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can make it. All right, I think maybe I could finish. And yes, sixteenth. Wow, I really messed that car up. All right, well we got that out of the way. So let's we're gonna play this over again for real this time, and I'm gonna try to get enough points to proceed. Right 
I normally I normally race uh, with a cockpit view. I really like the cockpit view. It makes uh, makes things just feel a lot more realistic. And um, that's uh, that's you know typically one of the things that I love the most and cherish most about uh, racing racing games. It's all about cherishing, cherishing those moments that you have. Oh my God! F little fender bender there on the rock. Oh, continuing right along with the fender benderness, and uh, we're just gonna keep trucking here. I might have to officially say that I suck. All right, well that's a little bit better there. Third place. Car is all smoking and everything. All right, here we go. I did a little bit better. Hopefully enough to proceed, so that I can show you the uh, the next portion of uh, of the career mode here. Yes. Well. Oh, I guess I could have backed out a long time ago, because <laughs> now I have seven points.